we have covered the basic genetic terms in our last lecture. I will suggest you, go through it once before watching today's video lecture. We have also covered monohybrid cross. There we saw that, Mendel analyzed the inheritance of a single character. For example, plant height or, stem length of the pea plant. He crossed a true breeding tall plant, with a true breeding dwarf plant. That means, tall plant was homozygous for the capital T allele. And, the dwarf plant was homozygous for the small T allele. During gamete formation, these plants produced a single type of gamete. After fertilization, the F1 progeny of this cross consisted of all tall plants. And, these tall plants were heterozygous for the gene for stem length. That means, the genotype of this plant consisted of one dominant and, one recessive allele. Each tall plant in F1 generation is known as, monohybrid. Monohybrid refers to the F1 individual, that is produced from a cross, involving single character. And, it is heterozygous, for the pair of allele of the, gene involved. When a cross is done between monohybrids, or the F1 heterozygotes, then that cross is known as, monohybrid cross. We have also seen the result of monohybrid cross in our previous video lectures. From the monohybrid cross, Mendel established that, a pea plant has two copies of a gene for a single character. The two copies or allele can be same or different. When the two allele are different, one of them is the dominant allele. And, other is the recessive allele. Mendel's first law, the law of segregation states that the two copies of a gene separate during gamete formation and each gamete receives only one copy of the gene. Mendel's next experiment was to find out what happens when more than one character is involved in a cross. This experiment was the dehybrid cross. Let's understand what is the meaning of dehybrid and dehybrid cross. From his earlier experiments, Mendel had already established that round seed shape is dominant over wrinkled seed shape. And yellow seed color is dominant over green seed color. So, round seed shape is represented by capital R. And wrinkled seed shape is represented by small r. Similarly, yellow seed color is represented by capital Y. And, green seed color is represented by small y. Suppose, there is a true breeding plant with round yellow seeds. And, a true breeding plant with wrinkled green seeds. Here, you must have noted that, we are talking about two characters at the same time. These two characters are seed shape and, seed color. We also know that, for each character, there will be two allele. That means, the genotype of each of these plants, will be represented by, total four allele. Two for seed shape and two for seed color. So, tell me, what will be the genotype of true breeding round yellow pea plant? Yes, it will be two capital R and, two capital Y. This is because, the plant is true breeding that means homozygous phenotype. And, both yellow color and round shape are dominant traits. Similarly, the genotype of true breeding, wrinkled green pea plant will be, too small r and, too small y. Mendel crossed these two pea varieties, differing in two characters. So, this is our pea generation. In the F1 generation, he obtained all plants with round yellow seeds. Now, what will be the genotype of the plant in an F1 generation? For this, look at the gametes produced by each true breeding plant of P generation. All the gametes produced by the plant with round yellow seed will be of the same type. That is, capital R, capital Y. Recall that, a gamete will receive one allele for each character. 
that is one seed shape and one for seed color. Similarly, the gametes produced by the plant with wrinkled green seeds will be small r, small y. Now, in the F1 generation, the progeny will inherit one allele from the male parent and one allele from the female parent for each character. So, the genotype of F1 individual will be capital R, small r, capital Y, small y. Here, note that the F1 plant is heterozygous for two genes at the same time. This F1 plant is known as dehybrid. D means two. Dehybrid is an F1 individual that is produced from a cross involving two characters. It is heterozygous for two characters. We can also say that dehybrid is a double heterozygote. In the next step, Mendel self fertilized the plants of F1 generation. This means now both the male and Female parent is a dehybrid individual. When a cross is done between two dehybrids or F1 double heterozygotes, then that cross is known as a dehybrid cross. In other words, in such a cross, the two individuals are heterozygous for two characters. So, what were the results of this cross? Mendel obtained total 556 plants in the F2 generation. Out of these 315 were plants with round yellow seeds. 108 plants with round green seeds. 101 plants with wrinkled yellow seeds. And 32 plants with wrinkled green seeds. Thus, Mendel obtained four phenotypes. When he calculated the ratio of these phenotypes, it came very close to 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. What was the conclusion drawn by Mendel from the results of dehybrid cross? What does this ratio tells about the inheritance of allele for two characters? We will answer these questions in our next video lecture. And, we will also find out what is Mendel's second law, the law of independent assortment. Thank you for watching.